Digital filtering is typically applied to time domain signals in order to reduce the noise in a signal. The two classes of digital filters are finite impulse response, or FIR, and infinite impulse response, or IIR. IIR filters have a nonlinear phase response and are therefore best applied when no phase information is required from the signal, such as amplitude monitoring. Choose a FIR filter when a linear phase response is required. The different types of filters are illustrated in the diagram shown. A low-pass filter will remove high-frequency noise from a signal. IIR filter types include Bessel, Butterworth, and Chebyshev. The filter response characteristics of each are illustrated in the chart shown. In the tutorial that follows, digital filters will be used to remove noise with a frequency of 40 Hz from data with a frequency of 7 Hz. The signals are both sine waves, so it will be very apparent the effect of the digital filter on the amplitude of the composite signal. Generate simulated acceleration data by running the script provided. In the data portal, select the acceleration channel. From the analysis panel menu, select signal analysis, digital filters. Make sure the parameters tab is activated in the digital filters dialog. At the bottom of the page, make sure the store result in original channel checkbox is not checked. Drag and drop the acceleration channel from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled signal channels. If necessary, drag and drop the time channel from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled time channel. Under the parameters tab, choose the IIR filter method and then under filter type select low pass. Interactively change the limit frequency hertz from zero to 40 hertz, observing the plotted result. The noise exists at 40 hertz, so any limit well above the primary signal of 7 Hz and below 40 Hz would suffice. Set the limit frequency to 20 Hz. Click on the IIR Parameters tab and choose the filter type of Butterworth. Set the filter order to 5, observing the effect of values between 1 and 5 on the plotted result in the dialog. Check the force zero phase checkbox and observe the effect on the filtered signal in the 2D axis plot within the dialog. Check the correct start slash end offset checkbox to make minor corrections to the start and end of the signal. Click the calculate button to generate it a filtered channel named filtered signal. Click the close button to close the dialog. In the data portal, rename the channel Filtered Signal to Filtered Signal IIR. Activate the View panel. Create a new layout using the menu options File, New. In the View panel Regular Worksheet Partitions group bar, choose the option Three Areas to create three horizontal areas. Select the channel's Time, Acceleration, and Filtered Signal IIR channels in the data portal in that sequence and then drag and drop them into the top view area. Choose 2D Axis System in the pop-up menu that appears. In the data portal, click on the Filtered Signal IIR channel and observe that the maximum and minimum values of plus minus 19.7 meters per second squared correspond close to the original generated values of a 7 Hz sine wave with an amplitude of plus and minus 19.6 meters per second squared. Next, we will create another filtered result using the FIR filter option. From the Analysis panel menu, select Signal Analysis, Digital Filters. Make sure the Parameters tab is activated in the Digital Filters dialog. At the bottom of the page, make sure the Store Result in Original Channel checkbox is not checked. Drag and drop the Acceleration channel from the data portal to the Dialog Channel Input Control labeled Signal Channels. Under the Parameters tab, choose the FIR Filter method and then under Filter Type select Low Pass. Set the limit frequency to 20 Hz. Activate the FIR Parameters tab. Choose a filter length of 77. Set the window function to Rectangle. 
Click the Calculate button to generate it a filtered channel named Filtered Signal. Click the Close button to close the dialog. In the Data Portal, rename the channel Filtered Signal to Filtered Signal FIR. From the Data Portal, select the channel's time, acceleration, and Filtered Signal FIR channels in that sequence and then drag and drop them into the center view area. Visually compare the differences between the FIR and IIR filter results. What you learned in this tutorial. Digital filtering can remove noise from a signal. The choice of filter class, type, and other parameters can dramatically influence the effectiveness of the filter. The DATAM analysis panel, Digital Filters dialog allows you to interactively explore the best filter options for each unique signal.